hello guys how are you all i hope all are good so guys today we'll see how we can integrate razorway in our react uh, application you can say or uh, react x one small project you can consider guys okay so here we are not using any backend simply one page is there matlab means what uh, one react page will be there okay one line page only one page code you can say guys okay so that only we'll see so how it it will work see guys this is my react running path that is path you can say and when i click on pay now i can pay the amount okay and when i will tell the changes guys you can see guys now the checkout page is completely changed and it is looking good right according to me it is good right so this also we'll discuss later okay so right now what i will do i will cancel see guys what a good option they are giving now are you want to exit here only you can continue means they are doing changes right which is good actually for us it is good which are using this as a way for them also it is good right okay so directly we'll move in our code guys so this is so this is my react code guys okay so this is simple react and uh, i will consider if you know if you're watching this video how to integrate razor pay in react means you will be knowing about react how we can create a react file or how we can create a small react app okay in vs code okay so i will consider that and i will go further guys okay so then also one i'll try to explain one thing guys you can see guys this is my project name is what react or file name you can say that is react underscore project okay and here in source i have created here one file that is react razor pay react okay so you just consider only this file guys don't see this other files and all okay this one and uh, we are here seeing this file and this app.js as well okay where my path will come calling path so right now we'll see only these files and guys you also see this file only don't see other files okay so let's start guys okay so guys you can see here uh, here i have integrated razor pay in my react application and right now i have taken only simple application guys you can see here only one page is there and here i'm paying amount you can design page as how you want like that okay just here i am here to tell you the concept how the uh, razor pay will work in react okay so you can design how you want like that you can design your page fine see guys uh, here first what we are doing we are importing the react okay i know guys for all projects we do this without that it will not work right fine then this is our component that is razor pay react and here we are taking one state okay that is payment id and set payment id and initially it is empty means null that is okay then next guys you can see here here we have used one load script okay this load script guys we are using here means when this checkout page means it will whether it will come with error or it, it will come with success that to monitor that by using as a load script okay so here we'll see guys what this will do that is const script document dot create element what it will do it will create a new html script guys here okay it will create a new html script and next here you can see guys this what it will do it will set the source attributes of the script element whatever the script element it is there for that it will set the attributes okay uh, with the provided url whatever the url we have provided for that it will set then there is two things guys you can see here one is script dot on load and script dot one error okay so uh, script load and script error means what on load event when it will trigger that we must and should know right guys so when it will trigger when the script has successfully loaded script means what this script okay guys this whatever the checkout page is there now when it is successfully loaded then it will return true okay means it will return true or we can say it will resolve the promise with the true because we are using your promise function right so it will resolve with two if it is successfully triggered means the event if successfully triggered it will return with true and if there is any error occurred anything while reading the script if an error is there it will return false guys okay means the promise will return false and it will give error so for that by using as this on load and one error okay then here you can see guys we are using append child that is document dot body dot append child so what it will do it will append the script element to the body means whatever the script elements are there 
it will append to this body okay so for that we are using this fine this is done guys then next you can see guys here our main this is about the load script guys okay this is done then we'll move here okay see guys this is our return and main body function we can see so here we are calling display razor pay pay now means whenever we are paying the amount means when we click on this pay button this pay button that time what we are doing we are calling this event guys that is this razor pay so display razor pay on click function we are calling okay so where is this display razor pay you can see guys here it is display razor pay okay so here we are using await function guys so load script means it will wait till the script is loaded okay till the script is lo loaded it will wait and it will check whether it is it resolves true or it it resolves false if it is true it will proceed the further fun further function right this function it will proceed means it will do the raise up action and this load script is this only guys okay so it depends on true and false if it is true it will do the next process that is the raise up a function process means what will happen guys here here you can see guys here i have used the raise up a key and this is guys a test key okay you can copy nothing will happen but this is test key guys okay then here amount you know guys amount will be in paisa means it will be 50 rupees only okay then currency is there then name you can change name according to your company then there is a description then image logo also you can add i have not added here in logo right right now okay then here you can see guys there is alert when the result or when the response is true or success that time we are taking the we are giving one alert and we are saying here payment id also okay so after that means when we pay we'll get one payment id also okay then set payment id means what we are doing is here you can see as payment id means we are showing also payment id okay fine then next you can guys this will be pre filled whatever the name email contact it will be pre filled that i will show you guys where it will be visible and theme means check out whatever the checkout page is there if you want to change the color and all you can change from this okay this is the brand color you can see fine okay so Fine. Then next, what is that payment object? The new window raise up means if everything means that checkout page will open, right? So for that, guys, it is for opening and closing. We can say we can use this for opening our checkout page. Okay. So this is about our display raise up. Okay. Done. Then here, what we are doing when we click on pay button or pay now, that time we are calling this display raise up. Here it is. Display raise up means this we are calling guys. this checkout page and if it returns true it will proceed the further function that is payment and all okay so let's check that guys now so we'll move here this is our pay button okay pay now so i'll open uh, no need of inspect it okay fine see when i click on pay now See, our checkout page is opening and now they have changed guys earlier it was small only now here only we can see the amount and this is a pre filled data as i told you guys pre filled data it will take email number everything it is pre filled okay then uh, this is the options upi card net banking wallet and even they have given qr code it is good guys i like this design also we we need to check in mobile how it will look Hmm. Okay, see guys, you can see guys mobile view also how it is. Hmm, it is good, right? In mobile also we can see clearly. See here, here it is logo, and this is the brand color. Okay, suppose if you want to change the brand color, you can change the brand color as well. We'll see whether I will get here something to change. Or directly from there, I have to change. So, guys, you can change from here. Here, you can add whatever the color you want that you can add. That will be changed here. Okay. So after that, you can select the bank. So we'll select your ICIC bank. Okay. then after that we need to success so 
so you can see as here also it is nice view payment payment success wow <laughs> actually i like this all things i think you uh, even you guys are liking this right okay see this is our payment id okay see as i told you here we are giving one alert right so see guys this is the alert where it is Uh, see guys this is the alert okay so this is the alert i'm getting it and this is my payment id okay so i'll do okay and i can see your payment id also so this payment id is coming here you can see guys, this is my payment id so here also i can see and when i refresh it will go see guys so this is very good guys means integrating razor pay in react it is easy for one page okay if it is back end uh, then there will be api call and we can do guys suppose if you want backend also then guys please comment in comment box i will do video on that also and if you have any confusion in this page then please guys comment it and if you are liking my videos then like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys keep supporting guys